chicken dinner. Richard Crowsong. You have a great idea for verses. And I'm going to honor you by drawing your verse which you won. And then you will be getting the original. So this is you. Um, he suggested, uh, well, I put it out there saying, who would evil Ernie versus um, another character? And he was the one went through the um, defeat. And now I was like, oh, you know, um, Ed. Um, was it Ed? Not Ed Sheeran. <laughs> Not Ed Sheeran. Okay. <laughs> Back. Okay. So it's evil Ernie versus Eddie from Megadeth. <laughs> so um, a little about Evil Ernie uh, from my perspective, from my view, is back in the 90s, um, there was this cool comic that came out um, called Lady Death. And within that universe and within that realm, Evil Ernie was in that universe as well. I just really love that rock and roll, heavy metal, death metal, look to him he was a rocker and everything and he just looked really sinister when i when i was when i was very first introduced to evil ernie he was um under the umbrella of chaos comics and i just really loved that whole look to him that whole rocker vibe that evil vibe and everything and i was like oh man so he, he uh, he was actually um, one of my versus characters that I really want to pin against someone with the kind of the same caliber. So, but it has to be from a different universe. So Richard Crowsong was the one who suggested Eddie from Megadeth. I was like, oh man, but which Megadeth though? Uh, which album cover though? There's a lot of them out there. Or I can make my own Eddie, Eddie Biscetti. <laughs> That's great. Uh, my own version of Eddie. But both of them, like, who would win, though, you know? And, and if these two ever met up and, you know, battled it out. So, but I'm going to draw <clears throat> my side of it, um, Evil Ernie. Um, so he does, to me, he does look like one of those guys from Metallica. I forget the name. Um, but I was like, ah. Oh. So this is my version of um, Evil Ernie. Um so 50-50, uh, so face face, and I put the verses right in here. So Richard Crow's song was the one that suggested this awesome matchup. So he will be getting the the original. So good job, Richard. So okay, let's get into it. So I usually like to um um Sketch it out really quick. Um, I've been looking forward to this versus, and then I put it on um, uh, on Facebook, um, like, and then I was very surprised that um, <clears throat> people were actually um, participating in it. There were some really good suggestions on there, really awesome suggestions, and then you know, but you know, Richard was the one that you know. Kind of, I, I, you know, to be honest, I was already kind of thinking of that, like Eddie from uh, Mega Death. So, but um, it all worked out though. So, yeah. Um, right now, I'm just kind of um, drying it out. Um, I'm on my break, so I want to. I, you know, like I said, I've been, I've been kind of looking forward to this. So this is my version of. Um, um, evil Ernie. I should have some like hardcore heavy metal song to go to go with this. So You know what, you guys, a little bit update for the um, Santa Fe Comic Con. <sighs> I hate to say it, but I don't think I'll be able to make it um, to, um, to Santa Fe Comic Con this year. There's just a lot going on right now. And um, money-wise, moolah-wise, you know, 
I had to do that whole needs and wants kind of a thing. So, you know, there is some stuff that I really need to, you know, um, do. Um, so, you know, being an adult means you have to be responsible, be more responsible with your money. So, yeah, I really, really wanted to, but you never know. I'm never going to say never, you know, like you never know. I'm going to, you know, still hope, you know, I can, you know, still hope for it. You know, you never know, like something might happen on the 11th hour and I be, I might be able to make it, you know, so. <clears throat> But I'll take whatever I can take. You know, if I don't make it, then there's always next year. Um, yeah, put some spikes on them. I haven't, I haven't done any YouTube stuff in a while. I just been like really busy lately. I just been really busy. And then, you know, then my little nephew was the one that was like, I've been watching your your um your YouTube stuff, like make some more and I was like, Oh, oh okay. <laughs> yeah, he's he's um my little nephew's really awesome. So he kinda he kinda motivated motivated me to get back into uh making more videos and everything. So thanks Kobe. I love you. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Um, I really enjoy my versus characters and everything. I really enjoy doing this. Um, so with the whole YouTube stuff, um, that's just kind of my way of like, um, just exploring what I can do on YouTube on what I can do um like audio visual perspective and you know i'm still learning um uh, I, I i still want to be more creative with my videos um so i'm always like looking at um tutorials and everything and checking out what other people are doing and try to be a little bit different from the average person so yeah he has this like killer sinister smile too that's just like almost looks like the joker on like in a way like he's just a deranged psychopath you know he's just he's just you know he's just out there like he doesn't give up you know what <laughs> so i think i got the smile right so, um, you'll be also having a chance to, you know, get your suggestion then. And then if you do win, um, uh, for a good, um, uh, a good, good, uh, versus, you will get the original from me. That's if, if you win. <laughs> so right now I'm just kind of thinking like what kind of verses I, I, you know, which character that I'm kind of looking at. Or thinking about as of right now nothing comes to mind um, I usually put it on uh, Facebook on the Native American comic group um, for uh, any uh, help sometimes I need some help you know or just you know just sometimes I just want to see what other people come up with you know and if they come up with something really cool and then you know I shot them out on here and so <clears throat> I hope everybody's weekend was really good. Um we had some unsuspect un unsuspect ah unexpected weather. Um yeah, so it was like snowy um like a, not not too much snow but you know it did snow here on the res so which was good because this summer was just it was just really brutal like i didn't you know i think i'm a winter guy and i just i just love the winter um because it's it's just it's not too hot i can't do the heat 
I, I can't do the heat no more. It's just, it just gets too hot. It just seems like every year it's just getting hot and hot. And like, I love this weather right now. You know, it's sweater, sweater weather. <laughs> so, oh man, look at that. That is coming out nicely. Sometimes I, I surprise myself when I do these uh, versus drawings. Um, So yeah, I really encourage you guys to um, talk and everything on my um, comments, you know, and, you know, I will respond back, um, you know, what do you guys think about these videos? Are you guys enjoying it? Do you guys like it? Um, you know, what else do you guys want to see? Yesterday I was um, kind of doing some digital work, uh, some digital drawing. Um, I actually uh, did some digital work on a character that I really, really wanted to do. Um, it didn't really come out so good, but I still did it anyways. Um, <clears throat> that's my problem. <laughs> I'm not gonna pick it up because usually, usually, you know, it's somebody else. <laughs> That's probably the creditors. The creditors. That's the only people that only call me is the creditors. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Uh, my GoPro has been kind of acting up lately. And then, so every once in a while, it kind of just, I don't know, zonks out. And it is Halloween. <laughs> not, not Halloween, Halloween. It is October. So, um, so that's the reason why I really wanted to do some um, Halloween type theme stuff. Uh, that's the reason why I was like, man, I really wanted to do this. Um, something cool, something uh, festive. Uh, I've been watching a lot of horror movies lately. Um, I seen the, uh, started watching um, Child's Play, the very first one again. So, <clears throat> yeah. The one I'm really waiting for is um, Silver Bullet. That is like my all-time favorite werewolf movie. <clears throat> yeah, Evil Ernie has this uh, really kind of like, um, like curly, like curly hair. Um, almost looks like that guy. I can't, I, I can't even remember the name right now from uh, the guitarist from uh, Metallica. Um, he has that type of hair. So I think in a way, uh, the creators of Eel or Ernie were kind of going for that. Um, I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But it always looked like that to me. Like it always had that really like curly, like just almost like an afro in a way. Uh, so I'm trying to recreate that. That looks good. That looks good. <clears throat> so my break is almost up. Um, I like to do these on my breaks and then I do a lot of it um, during lunch. Um,
So I'm gonna see if I can like get as far as I can with this today. Oh man, look at that. Oh man. Chwami cat razzy brazzy, hey. Razzy frazzle. <laughs> Man, this one looks killer. Killer kills it, like my cousin sister used to say. <laughs> I don't know if she's a subscriber, but you remember that? You remember when you used to say that? Killer kills it. <laughs> I just like used to think like, what does that mean anyways? <laughs> like, killer kills it. I don't know. Whoa. Man, that looks nice. It looks nice. So I might put the smiley badge behind him. Um, so yeah, this is like very um, 90s, you know, the 90s comic era. So I I might put the smiley face in the back. Or I might have it. It's like a pin that follows him. Uh, I might put it right here, or we're sticking right there, so that way it kind of looks like a moon. Um, but let me just draw it out really quick to see how it looks. You know, I can see it in my head, but it just has to depend like how how it will really look. So far, so good. It has this like really. I don't know. That might change. It might go right here. So, all right. So, I, um, my time is up. So, I gotta go. But this is how it looks so far. It looks awesome. Ah! Hey, you guys. Um, I'm on my lunch break right now. So, <clears throat> when I was drawing this, I was all saying, uh, Megadeth, Eddie. <laughs> Okay, correction, correction. It's actually Eddie the Head from Iron Maiden. That's what I wanted to say, but I don't know, you guys. Today was just crazy. It's my first day back again for, um, I've been out for uh, a long weekend. <laughs> so my apologies, my apologies. Please do not revoke my metal card, please. So it's actually Evil Ernie versus Eddie the Head from Iron Maiden. Sorry. <laughs> very, very, very sorry. Okay. I'm on my lunch break right now. And like I said, I, I usually try to get some stuff done. Um, so let me, let me do this. I hope everybody has a really good lunch. I was actually thinking about this when I was um, doing my other stuff. Like, man, I can't, I can't, I cannot wait to, you know, to get back into drawing this. Um, I really, I really get excited when I, um, when I think about a new, a really or a really good verses. Um, just simply because, you know, I'm, you know, I just, I just love drawing. I just love drawing. I love um, challenging myself. You know, I, I love all of that. And um, just knowing the fact that somebody thought about this as well. So um, I'm trying to make Eddie the head um, more of a, of a comic book -y look to him. So, and I know there's some um, comic book variations 
that someone did. Um, and those were those are those ones look really really cool. So <clears throat> okay, um, kind of. I hope it looks like Eddie the Head. <laughs> you know, any Iron Maiden fans out there? So I'm trying not to rush. I feel like I'm rushing. Calm down, Casey. Calm down. Calm down. It's a nice day outside today. Uh, I didn't get a chance to go out. Usually, I just usually I just eat in my office. Um, I don't normally. I try not to go anywhere. Sometimes um, I normally just eat in my office because I see some people eating outside, like um, in their uh, vehicles. But I'm like, uh, I kind of don't really want to do that. <laughs> like, I'd rather just eat in here. I think I'm just too lazy to even go out there. But I was like, I don't even want to. You know, I'd rather just eat in, eat in my office. Um, but most people go out. The only time you probably really see me outside is probably um, when I get paid. <laughs> I think that's the only time I really like. Yeah, I get this. I get the. I get to eat really good. <laughs> so normally when I get paid, sometimes I go to you know the store down here. You know, like or go to um, we have um, Pizza Edge. I usually get some Pizza Edge sometimes. So so Eddie the Head. This is kind of like my version of it. So <clears throat> and. I'm giving him that, you know, that rocker look. Uh, shoot, I hope it, I hope it looks okay. I hope it looks okay. Um, I caught myself, I was like, I, um, Eddie from Megadeth, I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was like, why did I say that anyways? Eddie from Megadeth. <clears throat> it's a good thing I didn't post it <laughs> like that. I was like, oh man. Iron Maiden fans were probably like, rip me a new one. <laughs> I think I made the face a little bit too big, but that's okay.
I think I'm kind of starting to look like Eddie the Head. Ooh, yeah. It's starting to look like it. Sometimes, like, when I'm not feeling something, my instinct just tells me, like, to trash it and start all over again. So, <clears throat> I kind of, like, I wanted to do that to this one because I wasn't feeling too satisfied with it, even though I was, I was kind of, like, slowly sketching it out. It's a good thing I didn't do that. So... <clears throat> Yeah, I just kind of like told myself, like, you need to stay calm, and then, you know, everything will come together. Oh, yeah, that's looking, that's looking vicious. It's looking terrible, terrible. I hope every, all of you guys had your lunch, had some good lunch. Uh, my lunch was all right. Uh, I just brown bagged it today. Uh, I normally just brown bag it. Um, I don't normally really eat out. Um, I try not to anyways. Um, just like I said, like just only on on paydays. <laughs> then I'll go eat out. Other than that, I don't really eat out. Um, so I try to I try to brown bag it as much as I can. Or when I don't finish my dinner, I usually I usually take that for lunch sometimes. So but sometimes I get hungry. Sometimes I'm like, you know what? I want me a burger. Ooh, does that look like Eddie the Head to you? Or to y'all? This is gonna be good once I start inking it. Starting to look good. Maybe have the moon back. 
here. Some trees. Some creepy, creepy trees. Kind of quick sketch of the trees. really really good okay there it is you guys pencil sketch of evil Ernie versus Eddie the head bra have my versus symbol right in here so okay the pencil part is done
Good afternoon, you guys, and happy Friday. I know it's been a while since I did a versus, but this was one of um, one of the favorites that I I wanted to do. So I put it out there on social media, um, <clears throat> on Facebook, saying, "So I picked Evil Ernie from Chaos Comics back in the 1990s, the 90s era, and I wanted some uh, a formidable foe that will go up against Evil Ernie. So I put it out there in social media, and then." I had some great, great ideas coming through. Boom, 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 boom. And then Richard Crow song was the one that kind of, he was the winner. So he said, um, Eddie the Head from Iron Maiden. I was like, oh man, I was already kind of thinking that. And I knew somebody was going to say that. So I was just waiting for that. But I put it out there to see who was the winner. So Richard Crow song, this is for you. An original an original, original 11 by 17 done by yours truly, L. Mutton Boy. <laughs> so, um, okay, one more thing I gotta do. Not this one. Uh, do, 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 do. So these ones, um, right here, they're at, they actually worked really, really good. Um, when I first tried them out, I think I used it too quick and too soon. With the markers and they kind of like um, faded or they smudge in some areas so I used this and I let it sit for a good hour or two and then I went back and I went back in I went back in and started with my markers and it hold up quite nicely it didn't fade it didn't smudge so so the one thing I have to do now oh man I'm like this is what I utilized <laughs> so prisma colors blick studio brush markers and also um um prisma color inks and also this new one that i got from hobby lobby um this is right here so and they work pretty good i like it because i am running out of ink so maybe today or tomorrow I need to hit up Hobby Lobby and get me some more inks so there you go um, I am satisfied with it uh, especially with this piece on this side with um, um, Eddie the head it just seems kind of rushed to me um, I can see that there's some the ink I'm not really I'm not too fond uh, how the how my inking went on the side I don't know it's just it just seems like kind of rushed it a little bit you may think that differently um, the viewers that you guys are uh, viewing this this one looks really really good um, I don't know but uh, I hope um, Richard really loves it I did I also did a, a digital uh, using uh, procreate um, that one came out really, really, really good. So I might splash that in comparing the two. So, but this is um, a freehand 11 by 17 Evil Ernie versus Eddie the Head. So, who would take it? Please comment down below. Um, so, let me add some little bit. I noticed that uh, with the digital work, sometimes I'm not too fond about the digital work that I do sometimes, but with this piece, um, it really came out really, really, really good. So, <clears throat> ooh, it's like a big difference. Yeah, it is a big difference. Wow. Cool. Okay, Richard Crow song. Boom, this is for you. So thank you for watching and also a teaser for the next one. Let's move this to the side and then I'm gonna splash the next um, character that I wanna utilize. It, it's Jack uh, the Pumpkin King from Tim, Tim, Tim Burton's uh, A Nightmare Before Christmas. So, right here, the blank page. 
So 50-50, Jack the Pumpkin Kings is gonna go right in here. Who would Jack face if Jack was ever pushed to its limit? Like if he just went just hell razor crazy or just, you know, just mad and was ready for battle, who would be a formidable foe? It has to be from a different universe. It doesn't matter, um, like any horror movies or uh, comic book uh, villains or um, or Halloween, any Halloween creatures that you may think. So uh, the winner will get either a digital copy, meaning uh, a digital work I, I do on Procreate, and then and also an original right here, an original to you. If you um, give me a formidable foe, I have one in mind, but I don't. I don't want to share it just yet. So it would be Jack the Pumpkin King if he was ever pushed to to his limits. You know, like if he just went. You know what? I'm gonna battle this guy. I'm gonna go. You know, all in. So who would he battle? So that will be the next one. So it's Friday, happy Friday, be careful. And then my Halloween versus editions continues. So I'm putting it out to you guys. What do you guys think? Please comment down below. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you for watching. And please like and subscribe if you like my channel, if you wanna see more, if you have any ideas. Uh, one of my friends reached out to me saying that she wants a commission so I might do that too so she wants in the Halloween edition um, see what did she say um, she said I want Michael Myers holding uh, stripe from Kremlins um, holding him like cuddling him or just like having him a little, as, as like like a cute pet like they're both kind of cute and everything so uh that's gonna be challenging but i'm up for it so he told us how do you want it do you want it um hard copy meaning something like this or do you want a digital copy so she said let's do digital uh for now um i think she may also want uh, a hard copy as well so that's gonna be that's gonna be very interesting as well so, um, you guys be safe out there, and we'll see you next time.